great. Um, I, I mean, feel like I, I feel I, like he found a stick just like everybody else did. Yeah. Wow, this should be part of the. Thank video. you, buddy. Thank you. We got some food. What's going on, guys? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel, and welcome back. I'm here with Black Diamond Guns and Gear and TN Tactical. If you guys want to give a quick introduction to yourselves. Oh, you know, we just do the YouTube things and uh, uh, other stuff, you know, fat tax where it's at. And I have a learning disability. But other <laughs> than that, I like to shoot guns too. Yeah. Perfect. I'm in good company because I think we're all a little disabled in one way or another. Anyways, this is what we're going over today. This right here. This is the Terran Tactical Canic Combat. So this is a TTI Combat model. Um, it's a it's a premium Canic. It's probably top of the line, if I'd have to say. Um, the, price. the price tag is much more expensive than the other Canic options. Now I know a couple of you guys, he's angry already. A couple of you guys are gonna comment on this. You're gonna tell me it's pronounced Chanic. But Janic. 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 We're in America. You know, let's, let's be honest. The only reason why people do that is because they saw uh, Mac do it. <laughs> he was like, oh, I went to Turkey and uh, they told me it was pronounced Janic. There you go. That said, we're in America, so we're gonna make that a hard C. It's C Janic. Is, C is for cookie. <laughs> C is for cookie. Right. All right. So, um, what I'm gonna do is this one actually belongs to uh, TN Tactical, and it You're comes with a whole case. You're uh, flagging my camera. We already shot it. We put um, a whole bunch of mags through this thing. The mags are, I believe, 18 plus two. Three. 18 plus three, so 21 round. Magazines plus one in the tube. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some shooting impressions real quick. It's a very flat shooter. This does have a compensator that is comes with it. Um, it looks like that compensator is pinned in through the side. Um, I'm not sure if the barrel itself is threaded, but we'll do a little close up on it. You do have a fluted barrel on this guy. It's got lightning cuts. It's got very aggressive serrations on the slide. The grip texturing is actually pretty aggressive, especially in your back and front straps right here. It's a very uh, gritty sandpaper type feel. Uh, does come with the magwell and a couple extended controls it looks like on the side and your your slide release slash hold open lever is ambidextrous and it's serrated but low profile so that is one thing i will say i like about the canic step i love their uh, slide stops i think they are huge and they should all be like that yep kind of like walters walters are exactly the same way they are huge and they should be huge yeah now, if you've tried the stippling before on like the Kank Rival, this one's a lot more aggressive. It's definitely going to put some calluses on your hand if you're one of those guys that only shoots maybe once every six months. Baby hands! But uh, this will kind of man you up real quick, I think, once you get used to it. On top of that, the serrations, the slide cuts up here, and the front and back, they're all also a little extra aggressive than a standard Kank that you might get like the Miller or the Rival. A um, couple other things I want to point out is the fact that you will not lose your rear sight with this particular canic. I know that's been an issue a lot of people have had where if you remove this plate, you'll actually lose the rear sight. Well, that's not the case. They finally, you know, finally fixed that problem to where you can keep your rear sight and swap out for a red dot if you wish. One, one of the question I had was, now you said you had the Glock 45 that had the uh, Radian afterburner. Mm -hmm. Now it clamps onto the barrel just like, now does that one do the same thing? So this one here, it, I haven't done it yet, but from my understanding, there's a little thing you just push this in, a little push pin thing there, and you can actually just take this right off. It's not threaded. It's not threaded. Okay, so it's not threaded. It's yeah. It clamps just like yours. So if it's not threaded, that means more than likely, I'm not gonna make a legal call here, but it's probably a 50 state legal compensator that comes with it, if that's the case. And the port does come straight through the barrel as well as the uh, compensator, whatever you wanna call that. It's about just over four and a half inches long for the barrel length, so very comparable to like the standard meta that you might get out there. Um, Definitely shorter than the Rival, if you want to make a comparison. I might make a follow-up in the future comparing those two. But it feels very similar to like Elite Combat. You've got the same kind of flat face 90 degree trigger as you have from the Rival and the Elite Combat. Uh, same Magwell style as well as the Rival here. And as well as the Mag release here that's also ambidextrous, I believe. Probably reversible. Yeah. I gotta say, when I was shooting it, man, I, you really can't tell. A lot of firearms are especially when it comes to pistols. A lot of them feel the same. And I think there's only certain ones with certain stuff on them that make it feel different. And in my opinion, this one, I'm not a huge Canic fan, but and this one right here, it feels different. It, it feels like it shoots flatter, and that could be the comp, uh, just like that Glock 45 there. I, I, I think that 
I shot his Glock 45. It has the Radian Raptor afterburner on it. The thing is, it shoots flat, man. It, it just does. It changes the difference. I have a Glock 45 as well. It feels uh, totally different, just like this one does. It feels completely different. The comps work on these things, in my opinion. Comps are effective. Um, now, the thing is, comps are also controversial. Um, I get a lot of people that comment, um, comps are only for range toys because it, it makes a vertical muzzle flash when you're shooting it in low light conditions. It's not that bright. I'll be honest with you, <laughs> I never really thought about that, but that, yeah, they're the thing no. that um, That said, I mean, it, compensators also make the signature a lot louder on a gun because you're directing those gases upwards. Um, instead of forwards so i mean you have that but who is not who's not pulling this thing out <clears throat> let's say you are carrying it for <clears throat> self-defense who is not pulling this thing out because when you pull it out you've already made a decision to shoot right if that's the case who's not pulling out mag dumping that thing to put it into a threat to make them stop everybody's doing that are you going to be able to tell what the trigger feels like no are you going to be able to tell if it stays on target yes so why would you not be able to want something to make you put yourself on target way better? Yeah. Now, I got to say, for me personally, I have owned a lot of kegs. I've had the Rival, Elite Combat, some of their earliest models like the SA that can actually decock the striker for you. I've had a bunch of different kegs. And I have to say, like, this is definitely the most expensive keg you can currently get on the market right now. Um, compared to some of those other ones, specifically the Elite Combat and the Rival, I gotta be honest with you, this feels good. Like, if you can only get one can it, get this one, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't know if I can really justify the price point. Yeah, for sure. And, and that might be a little bit of a hot take, but for me personally, yeah, the, the compensator is cool, it's new, it's the first time they've ever done that, can it? Um, and I do love the fact they can keep your rear sight, but the thing is, you're paying about three or four hundred dollars more than, say, the Canic Rival, and I really think you're paying for the Terran Tactical logo and branding. You've got Terran Tactical logos oh, on yeah. the sides. It's on the, the barrel here. I mean, it's all over the place, which is great. You know, don't get me wrong. This is definitely a budget-friendly Terran Tactical, but a Gucci yeah. Canic for sure. Um, after shooting the rival, both just you know, at the range and competition, I feel like this is very similar to that, but you can get the rival, like the Palmer rival, for like 600 bucks. You ever had a rival? I've shot one. I've used one for a couple of reviews in the past. Yeah, but I've never actually had any. The only one I've ever had or done a review on was a Meta. The the trigger yeah. is exactly the same as the Rival. It's as a very wide, combat. very yep. flat face trigger. And I mean, I was gonna make a comment. I don't. It's been probably about a year and a half since I fired the Rival, but this feels very similar in almost every way. Mm -hmm. I can't quite tell. And the recoil impulse has been a long enough time where I don't remember what. What kicks up a little more. Um, I'm sure this one does kick less because of that compensator, but um, I felt like I was shooting the rival when I was shooting this. Yeah, TTI. And, and again, shameless plug here, but I am going to try to do a comparison of the rival with this to see if there's no noticeable difference. Oh, you got a rival? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, and uh, so I mean, really, what you're paying for for that three or four hundred dollars price premium, you're paying for the name. extra. Yeah, you're paying for the name. <laughs> with that name comes some extra slide cuts here, some windows here. You're paying for, to keep that rear sight on. You're paying for the. You're the, paying to look like John Wick. Yeah, I mean, you're tactical made of stuff. You're paying for all these little cuts and this extra stippling on the grip. That's really what you're paying for. Dude, I'm I'm such a weird person because I, I to me it's like uh, I. I I get stuff because I, I know I'm going to carry it, or I get stuff because I know it's a tool. It's very hard for me to justify, it, it's me, I, it's very hard for me to justify paying a lot just for something that I'm not going to carry. Now, that being said, it's very cool. If you want to yes. buy this because it looks freaking cool and it shoots great, by all means, do it. I yeah. mean, if you're only going to get one kick, like I said, this is the one I would get. Um, so I'm not going to ever, you know, give anyone a hard time because they chose to buy this sure, yeah, over yeah. a rival. Like, it's your money. Do what you want with it. I'm just telling you from my experience, if you want something a little bit less flashy but still performs just as well, rival might be a better choice. How much is rival? Rival's like 600 I think I paid like 650 at the time, but I bought it brand new. So you might find it used for much cheaper than that. Yeah. Well, you're looking at any kind of clock, right, at that price? It's going to be on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best you've ever felt, okay. 1 being absolute garbage. So, all right, so we're going to start with performance. Josh, let's go ahead. What do you think a uh, scale of 1 to 10 uh, performance-wise? Performance-wise, I would say it's at least a 9. And in my opinion, I think it runs really I think it runs really great and I think it runs really flat and that's what matters to me. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna give it an eight myself just because I feel like I was having a little bit of trouble finding the sights and it, it's very well me. I haven't put a whole lot of rounds through it. We kind of did a combination thing just to get a feel for it. That said, I'm sure if I put more time behind it, I kind of learn the sights, learn the gun. Um, I could typically, sh I can hone it in pretty good. Sure. That said, it feels good, but um, I'm gonna stick with an eight out of 10. I won't give it eight and a half. And the reason why is because based on performance, you know, in the early models of Kangs, there were some issues with mag feeding and stuff like that with the earlier models. This one, I feel like at this point, everything's ironed out. Compared to the Rival, it feels very, very, very similar performance wise. I think this one just has a slight edge because again, the increased stippling around all around where you're going to grip it, you've got increased slide serration depth here on the slide in the front, as well as the back, and plus the increased serrations here on your slide stop there, slide lock, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Because of those things, it kind of helps you with a little bit better performance. Does the compensator make a difference compared to the rival? It's still hard for me to tell, but it is diff it's definitely better than like a, just a standard anything without a compensator. Yeah. Let's talk about comfort. You kind of brushed on comfort a little bit already. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you start this time on a right. one to 10. What do you, how do you rate the comfort and ergonomics? I think the ergonomics are gonna be a nine. Now that's my subjective opinion. Some people are not gonna like that extra stippling back there. I love it. When I used to do competition, I used to put that grip tape, like the skateboard tape on there. Yep. So I loved it rough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, say. <laughs> but so for me, family friendly here. <laughs> you know, it, there's not really so much anything that's going to be too rough when it comes to that grip texture. But maybe you have softer hands. I don't know. You may not like that grip. As far as the handling goes, you've got also some stippling up here. It's very similar to actually put your, your thumb. This is my index finger, obviously, but right there. You've got really good feel for it, and I feel like you can keep it from slipping and kind of hold that barrel down range. I'm going to go ahead and give this a nine as well. Um, it's, it's comfortable in all the right places. Um, they seem to accommodate for all the issues you know of other more basic guns out there a standard glock uh 45 something <laughs> like that you know what i mean and when i say that what i'm referring to is the stippling in all the right places where the ledges are um the serrations are abundant on the gun it points well so i don't really have any complaints re related to ergonomics here i'm gonna give it like a four wow yeah. nice i'm gonna go the other direction i i personally like the way glocks feel i like the way uh, Nothing wrong with a little dissenting opinion. Yeah, I, I just, I personally think that it's it's very rigid in a lot of places. And that's just not my bag. I, I like it to wear, like Glock, I, I compare everything to a Glock because it's my standard of, of pistol, okay? And I know that y'all can say I'm a Glock fanboy, and it's true. It's, it's true. okay, I, I also suffer Glocks too. I, I am a Glock fanboy. But, Glocks are okay. I have to, <laughs> I have to basically <laughs> compare everything to that. And to me, in my opinion, that is what feels the best in my hand. And a lot of people say like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't need to feel good in your hand to make sure, it doesn't. It doesn't need to feel good in your hand to shoot it well. But to me, it makes it, it makes you want to shoot it more, right? It makes it more comfortable, makes you want to shoot it more. So yeah. to me, it's a little bit lacking on that because it's more rigid, in my opinion. I'd like it a little bit more rounder, um, not so rigid is, is the way I would put it. We got two more ratings we're gonna do. Next one I wanna do is um, value. Now this is gonna be a hot topic for this gun. I'm gonna start since I haven't started yet. I'm gonna say the value, I'm gonna rate it a five out of 10. And this really comes down to the reasons you're buying it. Um, now, here's the deal. If it didn't have that Canic name on it, mm -hmm. every bit of a thousand bucks is totally worth it. That's mm -hmm. the thing. The problem is the value, we're comparing it to all the other Canics out there and you're not getting a whole lot more. Now you do get a really cool hard case, a lot of accessories. However, the other Canics out there, you do get a lot of accessories with those as well. Yeah. So if it wasn't a Canic, some other brand for a thousand bucks, you get a heck of a deal with this. Since it is a Canic, um, I feel like a thousand bucks is quite a big price difference uh, yeah. to the other models out there, compa uh, comparable models. All right, so a famous man once said during the Revolutionary War, it may have been Benjamin Franklin, I can't remember, I'll look it up, once said, ask not what uh, your budget can do for you, but what you can do for your budget. Yeah, that's Probably. Exactly. So. That's, that sounds exactly right. Word for word. Yeah. Um, it's a direct and quote. with that, I have to say, if you are budget-minded, this is not the right choice for you. Therefore, I have to also give it about five. Um, again, you get some cool stuff in here. Value-wise, it's not worth the three or four hundred dollar premium that you're paying for the Terran Tactical logos and branding. Don't get me wrong, Terran Tactical is great. Puts great stuff out there. Basically, gun companies Does come he? to them and say, "Hey, mod our gun up how you want it, and then we'll sell it." Great. 
Um, I, I mean, feel like I, I feel I, like he found a stick just like everybody else did. Wow, this should be part of the. Thank video. you, buddy. Thank you. We got some food. Yeah. Um, basically. You're looking at paying basically a premium for the Terran Tactical brand. Yeah, he's modded other companies, SIGs and you know 1911s and Glocks. So great. I feel like this is kind of just like, yeah, you're literally just paying for branding. That's why I give it a five. Yeah, I would agree with that, and I would I would set it somewhere in the middle because you are paying for the name. That's that's all there is to it. Um, Canic is a, a cool brand. It ain't a thousand dollars cool. Um, in my opinion, you can find a Glock for six hundred bucks. This guy so, Glocks. I mean, it's just it's the truth though. You when you're you're taking everything and you're comparing it to what is the standard when it comes to pistols. You could get a Glock, mod it up, modify it however you want to, for around a thousand bucks if you're paying for this. Yeah. So I, I just think that uh, I don't know if you are into the movie Wick, John Wicken, then pay a thousand bucks for John it. John Wicken. I, I mean, it's, that's just my opinion. That said, if I had the budget and I wanted to own one for a collection, I actually probably wouldn't mind paying a thousand bucks for it because of all the cool stuff you get and i do as i get older i feel like i like kind of collecting things sure. just for different reasons they do throw a lot of stuff in there so the value is there for that and opinion. like i said we're going to jump into this box real quick and show you guys the canic tti combat right here at the very top you get a nice little message here from uh mr taren butler himself very nice very personal and sensual if you will over here you've got your cover and here you've got, well, it's upside down, but you got all your goodies here, ATF, all that good stuff, you know, the stuff you love that you really care about. Um, right here, you've got the main handgun itself. This is how it comes in here, all nice and pretty. Well, normally it looks prettier. We've been shooting it today. Also here, you've got your 18 round mag. The one that comes with is an 18 plus three, as well as a standard 18 round mag, both aluminum base plates. Right here, the thing that everyone knows with Canic is you get your little toolkit here. Inside here is all the tools you need for making adjustments. Going over here, you get a total of three back straps, including the one that's on there for different thicknesses. Sometimes you like it thick, sometimes you like it thin. It's all your preference. You also get one, two, three different plates for different types of footprints that you might have for red dots. But then down here, this is where the big money is. Are you ready? I'm ready. You lift this up. And right here is where all the good stuff is. You've got a holster. Now this holster has just your standard belt loops there for you that you can adjust. You've also got tools. You've also got your uh, cleaning rod there. The copper brush. Now here's where a couple extra things come into play. You get a extra recoil spring to tune it finally just to your ammo type. And then here, you get the Terran Tactical Challenge Coin with Canic on the back as part of their collaboration and friendship with each other. I like to call this the wild card rating. Some call it the X Factor rating. How cool overall is the gun? Like on a one to 10 scale, combining everything together, how cool is it? In my opinion, Eight. I I think I'd probably go with an eight as well. Give it a nine. Like I said, if you if you want this for the John Wick cool factor, if you want this because it just looks awesome, by all means, it's your money. Get it. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys. TN Tactical Black Diamond Guns and Gear. Thank you guys for stopping by. It's fun doing a video together. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Hope you all have a good one. God bless you all, and have a great week.